Ooh, tummy's rumbling. Good morning, everyone. Um, well, it's morning for me, anyway. Actually, it's about two in the afternoon, but time is relative, isn't it? Oh, speaking of which, where all my Doctor Who stuff go? Well, we'll deal with that next time. Anyway, um, today, we're like down really low. Don't look at me. Hold on a second. Let's let me angle that up a little bit. Maybe. Sorry. Wow, I'm sorry. I haven't had the camera set up for a while. I've been, well, I've been sick, as you know, and sort of just barely recovered. And yeah, good enough. Now my head's like in the middle. Why can't I get this angle right? There. There, whatever. That's kind of good. <clears throat> That's more or less back where it was. I don't know. Anyway, I'll mess around with it later. This is just a quick little package opening video. It doesn't have to be anything fancy because it's all about the packages. It's not all about beautiful framing and incredible cinematography and digital cinema surround sound. You're an hog! All right, sorry. A little crazy today. Um... So Chris, good old Chris, who sent us uh, Dead Space 3 and a whole bunch of other video games recently, um, he's actually sending some a couple of bigger items uh, next month, so sometime in June. But in the meantime, he wanted to send along a couple smaller things that he thought I might enjoy, that he was pretty sure I didn't have in the collection. There was a bit of a miscommunication mis uh, or mix-up last time, <coughs> but uh, with the Resistance games. Which I will be having the contest for very soon, by the way, so uh, keep an eye out for that. Um, yeah, so anyway, in the meantime, he wanted to just send along a couple of smaller packages from uh, little Amazon. It's pretty cool, actually. He orders uh, most of the stuff he sends me, unless it's something from his own collection, of course. Um, he actually orders from Amazon and then just has them send directly to me. Excuse me. So it literally takes like a day or two to uh to get to me and it's it's awesome so very cool and he must send them as gifts because i noticed there's no hints whatsoever on the labels as to what they are and the only hints he gave me was that they were things that he was pretty sure i didn't have just a couple of smaller items he thought i might enjoy and that's that so without any further ado let's crack these puppies open and see what we got today from chris on the multimedia chronicles Welcome back. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, in case you're wondering why it's been so long, it's literally been like a month since I posted a video. I don't even know if this is going to be the next video I post, so you might be getting the story a little bit out of sequence here. Um, I've been sick. I've been deathly ill for the past two weeks. Um, I was looking after Rosie for two weeks prior to that, and she was sick, so I couldn't really do much then because I was looking after her and... You know, I, if I was doing videos, I would have been doing them with her coughing her guts out in the background, and it would have been just a little bit distracting. So, you know, needed to focus on, on what she needed. And then, uh, inevitably, having her in such close proximity, coughing her brains out all for two weeks, I ended up catching what she had, and it just started to manifest a couple days before she went back to her mom's, and then I've been fighting it ever since. There was literally about a week and a half there where I had pretty much no voice, so... I would have been doing reviews in mime. <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> let's carry on with the packages here, shall we? So this was the first one that arrived. This arrived. This actually arrived about a week ago, and Chris has been wondering when I was going to do the package opening video, and I explained to him, well, I'd love to do it right now, except I have no voice. <laughs> <clears throat> and it's just barely come back now. So, yeah, let's crack this sucker open. It's been sitting on the chair taunting me for the past week. I've been dying to see what it is. Let's see what we got here. Something... Oh, nice. <laughs> the triple hanky. <clears throat> I actually used to have this, but ha don't have it anymore. Well, now I do. And it even comes with a slipcover. Awesome. I don't think I actually had the slipcover last time. This is a great... Uh, funny enough, the last time I got it, I actually got it in a package. And uh, sadly, it was, it was one that I had to let go due to difficult times. But, um, yeah, the triple hanky, as it's come to be known, where we have the Money Pit, the Burbs, and Dragnet. 
Wonderful. I don't think uh, any of those are actually on Blu-ray now. So great stuff. Um, I was. It's funny. I was actually just talking about this set with some uh, some of the geeky crew recently, and uh, we we're saying how like this is one of the greatest th triple feature franchise <laughs> collection DVDs ever because all three of these movies are great. Um, I know a lot of people. Their favorite is the Burbs. I definitely like the Burbs. I like it a lot. My favorite of the three, though, is the Money Pit. I like the Money Pit. It doesn't insist upon itself. <laughs> anyway, the Triple Hanky. Thank you very much. That's awesome. Uh, I'm really glad to have this back in the collection, actually. I've been missing it terribly because the, all three of these movies are ones that I can just watch over and over and over again. Classic Tom Hanks comedy. Come on, Tom. We know you're an awesome, serious actor, but can you please go and do some comedies again? We miss the days when you would make us laugh. Please. All right. <coughs> and then second, we have something else from Amazon. This one actually just arrived this morning, so I thought, hey, perfect. Both packages are here. Let's let's do a double whammy and see what, uh, see what we got here. So here we have something else. Feels like kind of slim. Maybe maybe some kind of digibook. I don't know. Let's take a look here. We have. Oh my God! Oh. <laughs> I have been wanting this for so long, and I can never find it anywhere. We have the 35th anniversary Digibook Blu-ray of Ralph Bakshi's Wizards. Oh, man, that is fantastic. Thank you so much. Wow. Yeah, this is one that I've been wanting to have uh, to get for a very long time. Um, I love Ralph Bakshi's stuff, as I'm sure you all know. Um, I don't actually own a lot of it on blue uh, on DVD or Blu-ray right now. Basically, I have Coonskin, which um, one of my viewers sent me. I think I think it was Frank, if I remember correctly, um, <coughs> and Heavy Traffic, which I literally picked up for three dollars in the bargain bin somewhere. Um, used to have uh, some other ones. I've had Lord of the Rings in a couple of formats over the years. Uh, I really want to get the Blu-ray Lord of the Rings, and I there's one that I've been wanting to see for years. I still haven't, which is uh, Fire and Ice, which is the one that he did in collaboration with with uh, just uh, you know world-renowned fantasy artist Frank Frazetta, and um, there's a nice Blu-ray of, of that apparently from Blue Underground. So I definitely want to pick that one up too. But this one is also has also really been high on the list because uh, I mean a lot Ralph Bakshi is generally known for stuff like Fritz the Cat and American Pop, while well, in Coonskin, of course. Um, so his, I, I think his other stuff kind of gets overlooked sometimes by the, by the general masses, but this is a terrific post-apocalyptic sci-fi fantasy story, basically, and, uh, about two, uh, brother wizards, one's good, one's evil, essentially, and, uh, and it's great, it has lots of classic fantasy elements in it. And uh, lots of post-apocalyptic sci-fi stuff. He actually did this before he did the Lord of the Rings. So in many ways, this is almost like his prototype film for Lord of the Rings. You know, that's kind of how I always looked at it. Um, then he went on and did Lord of the Rings a couple of years later, which adapted about the first book and a half of the trilogy. He was originally going to do two films of Lord of the Rings, and sadly he never completed it. But uh, um, then Rankin and Bass kind of picked up the slack by at least adapting Return of the King. So we had most of it. <clears throat> Rankin and Bass also did the uh, the Hobbit animated film. So like between the three of them, we more or less had the whole Lord of the Rings story in film form. And that was all we had for a very long time until Peter Jackson came along. But I'm kind of going off on a tangent. This is all about wizards. So let me just uh, read the back here for you, too, for those of you who don't uh, know what it's about or never heard of it. A beloved animated fantasy now on Blu-ray, legendary and groundbreaking animator Ralph Bakshi's Wizards is the tale of a war between supernatural siblings set in a post-apocalyptic Earth populated by elves, fairies, and mutants. Combining traditional cell animation with Bakshi's unique conversion of live film footage into striking high-contrast animation, Wizards is both whimsical and, sinis whimsical and sinister. This cult favorite from the director of Ritz the Cat and Lord of the Rings celebrates 35 years since, it's, since it first enchanted animation fans. Starring the voices of Mark Hamill, Susan Tyrell, and Richard Romanus. Yeah, it's uh, it's really good stuff. So then on uh, the special features, we got the... Uh, let's actually crack this open here. I'd like to take a look inside. <clears throat> we actually have the... Um, uh, the book itself is a 24-page digibook. We got a feature commentary by Ralph Bakshi himself. 
and a featurette entitled Ralph Bakshi, The Wizard of Animation. We also got a still gallery, TV spot, and theatrical trailers, and it is rated PG. Um, this is one of his more sort of family-friendly movies. However, there is a uh, little bit of graphic violence, a little bit of um, uh, foul language that you might not want your kids checking out. So, But, uh, but definitely, definitely fun for the adults. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is just gorgeous. Look at that. This is beautiful. Very, very nice. <coughs> Get a little city shot there, too. This is fantastic. Can you tell I'm excited? Yeah, uh, where is it here? I just saw it. <coughs> yeah, if you take a look at this uh, concept art here, you can tell that Bakshi was always a big Frazetta fan. That's very Frazetta-esque right there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, fantastic stuff. I'm definitely just going to watch the hell out of this. Oh, and there's uh, there's the two the two wizards there, actually. That's the good wizard. That's the bad wizard. And the good wizard, I remember the, the actor who does his voice, who is um, uh, <clears throat> Bob Holt. Bob Holt kind of plays his voice like uh, almost like Peter Falk as Columbo. So he's like the Columbo wizard, kind of. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, great stuff. Anyway, thank you very, very much, Chris. That is going to be a beloved collection or a beloved addition to the Blu-ray collection for sure. This is one that I've really been wanting to get for a long time, so thank you so much. And thanks again for the triple hanky. Wow. So for just a couple of little in between things these are pretty awesome i gotta say that's that's fantastic stuff i'm gonna really enjoy both of these alrighty thanks again chris and uh... thanks again to all of you for watching so until next time thanks for watching Did i just say that and sayonara leaf blower you hear that? Not even leaves out there. It's just just walking down the street with the leaf blower. Blowing stuff. Sending grannies flying off the whatever. <laughs>